Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild, this time on Layton Lakes, starting up a brand new grind. You may have remembered seeing a short that I put up a couple days ago, and saying that we were starting up a Great One Whitetail grind, and that it was going to be on Layton Lakes, and that is what today's video is going to be about. And be sure to watch to the end, because I am going to go over all of the zones that we have found so far, and show you guys each and every one of them, and exactly like how long it took me to find those zones. And one more thing before we get into the actual grinding, if you guys are not subscribed already to the channel, be sure to do that. I've noticed that quite a few of you are actually not subscribed, but still watch a lot of the content. So, be sure to subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell so that you guys will never miss a brand new upload, as I do upload a new video every single day. But enough of that, let's get into the actual grind, and as you can see, this first zone that we've got right here, I've actually already got it to be all level 1, so we no longer need to visit this one. We are going to be using herd management for this grind, so we're going to be only killing the 2s and 3s. Every single level 1 whitetail we find gets to live, and hopefully that is going to get us some really cool trophies along this grind. Now I have seen one question commonly reoccurring in the comments section, and that is whether or not I was going to grind on Reventuli Coast, and if I'm not going to, why am I not doing it? And well, the simple answer to that is the fact that there's just too many locations that Whitetail can be on Reventuli Coast. When I'm doing a herd management grind, I don't want to have to go to every single lake on the map just to be able to reach every single herd of whitetail. Here on Leighton Lakes, they are only on the left side of the map, and Rancho Del Arroyo is very similar, but on Revontuli Coast, you can find whitetail at virtually every single lake, and there's not enough tents to be able to set them up at all the lakes, so I would spend a lot of time having to run to lakes just to find all of my herds, and when you're doing herd management, the goal is to shoot every single whitetail deer that's level 2 or 3 and leave all the level 1s, so naturally I would have to find all of my herds in order to get get rid of all of those level 2s and above, and turn them into level 1s. So, unfortunately, Revontuli is just not very fitting for a herd management grind in the way that I'm doing it. So, I have to pick a map where I'm going to be able to find all of my whitetail in less time, and Leighton Lakes just happens to be the type of map that is going to be very fitting for a grind like this. Now, I was thinking about doing Rancho, but honestly, nowadays Rancho and Leighton are very similar with some of the changes that they have made in some of the reworks, so I decided to go with Leighton Lakes because we haven't done a grind on here in quite a long time, and I wanted to be able to get another great one on a map different than Rancho, as all of our great ones except for one have been off of Rancho Del Arroyo, so we're going to be doing our grind here on Leighton Lakes, and I think it's going to be a lot of fun. And that is the other buck that we took down, 194.98 gold. I believe that is our first gold of the day. Uh, the other one that we just picked up might have been a gold, but I'm pretty sure that it was a silver. Now regardless, we got a couple nice level twos down. We're going to continue looking for zones as I'm going through an area that I haven't been to yet. There we have our biggest buck of the day, 233 on the lower estimate. This guy is going to be a great one to get down. Let's see if we can drop a shot into him and also get this other level two as well. Gosh, the 308 is just such a monster for grinding whitetail. Uh, back when I was doing the Great One grinding for the whitetail, we didn't have this thing yet, so I haven't been able to experience the beauty of the 308 on a whitetail grind. I think it's going to make things a lot easier. We have hunted a bit of whitetail uh, since it came out, but not to the extent that we are right now. So this is going to be uh, quite fun, getting to use this thing throughout the entirety of a grind. So there is the bigger of the two whitetail, 240.98. That's actually a very big buck for a level two. Normally, you don't see them in the 240s, so this is actually kind of a cool one to take down. However, his uh, brother, not so impressive, 160.75, uh, not even into the gold range, and the uh, ugliest rack in the game as well. There we have a couple more level twos. Let's go ahead and drop a shot into both of them if we can. I think that second shot was good, but it probably only got a single lung. Actually, no, we completely missed the vitals on that guy. So we're going to have to take another shot and uh, try to sink it into him. I don't know if he's even going to give us another shot, though, actually. There we go. Not a great hit, but it will be enough to take him down. Wait a second. Where did this guy come from? We fast travel over, and of course there's another two shootable deer. Uh, three! Where did all of these come from? I actually have no idea, but you know, I'm not complaining. That's just more deer that we're able to get down in a shorter amount of time, so I'm 100% cool with that. But we did have another herd over here. 
I actually don't think they're going to be in render, unfortunately, so we're probably going to have to change the placement of this tent, but it seems like it worked out for picking off the rest of this group. Now, one thing I can say for sure is I'm definitely not going to be reaching the crazy numbers of kills per hour like we were with the Red Deer grind, because unfortunately, the Whitetail on any map in the game are just not placed as conveniently as the Red Deer always have been, so... Unfortunately, we're not going to be reaching like a hundred plus kills an hour like we sometimes do with the red deer So that's pretty sad But I think we should still be able to get like 40 or 50 kills an hour if we're lucky and that'll still be plenty good to get this grind done within Hopefully a few weeks if we are persistent with it at least Well, that makes sense. We actually just found a brand new zone right here that explains where that herd came from I was wondering, I was like, I'm sure that we didn't see any more bucks, and yeah, it looks like we didn't see any bucks in that herd. It was from a completely different area, so now we're going to have to count for this as well. Gosh, it's just going to get more complicated as we go. As zones move around, we're going to have to keep moving our setups, and this is uh, looking like the first place that's going to have to have some changes. And there is that beautiful buck from the first herd that we shot at over here. This guy is 213.90. That is honestly a very nice looking whitetail. I feel like any whitetail that gets above 210 is where they start getting to uh, be a little bit more decent sized and actually look decently impressive. Hopefully we can get a few rares with racks like this or larger throughout this grind. That would be really cool. And if we're doing herd management, I think eventually we probably will end up finding some around this size or bigger. Maybe even some super rares if we're lucky. Another one. Wait, did we let one of them get away last time? There's another level two right here. I mean, we might as well take him. There's so many. Where are they coming from? I gotta know. Are they just respawning super fast or have we been missing them? This is the second time that I've fast traveled over here. We just claimed all of these and I fast traveled here so I could go to this zone and another group just runs by. I don't even know what's going on at this point. I feel like that was the same group and it had a couple more that we missed. But I don't even know at this point. This is, uh, this is interesting. But I mean, I'll take it. That's a bunch of deer down super quick. Gotta love it when Call of the Wild gives you those moments where you really have nothing that you can even think about to explain what just happened. I didn't even see that there was more deer running through until I fast traveled. So it makes me wonder, have they been here all along? Or were they just brand new respawns that somehow got here instantly? I don't know, you guys let me know what you think in the comments. Have you ever had this happen before where you think that you've killed all the deer in the area and then just out of nowhere a bunch of them show up? Because that definitely seems to be the case here. There is another deer right here. This is from that zone that we weren't able to actually see them from the stand. I think we might have got that guy. This is going to be a tough zone to hunt. I don't really see any way that we can get a good stand set up to where we can actually see them. Because they're always in the brush, but... If we can just run up on them like this and get a few of them down, that is probably going to be the best case scenario for us. And it looks like we got at least one of them, possibly two if we hit this other guy. So this might be the way that we have to hunt this zone, unfortunately. And also guys, I've decided that with this video, I want to give away a copy of the modern rifle packs to uh, one lucky viewer that plays on PC, as this is a PC key, so keep that in mind. But I want you guys to comment down below and uh, first of all, make sure you're subscribed, obviously, as I do want this giveaway to be for my subscribers since you guys support the channel and in turn support what I do and make it possible for me to do this as for a living, which I really do appreciate. And I want to give back to you guys, so I'm going to start doing these giveaways like this and I'm not going to put them in the title or anything because I don't want it to be people clicking on it just for a giveaway. I want you guys to be getting these things for just supporting me normally like you always have and I really do appreciate each and one each and every one of you that watches all of these videos so this is going to be a PC version of the modern rifle pack and I want you to comment down below what your favorite video that I've ever made is and why you enjoy that video so much and uh, the best answer down below or I guess the most thought out and well put answer down below is the one that I will be choosing. Now be sure to make sure that you guys do have discourse so that I can message you on there to give you the key. Otherwise, I'm not going to be able to get it to you because if I just reply to a comment, there's a good chance that somebody could take the key before you get it. So make sure you have discord, make sure that you are subscribed to the channel and that you also uh, comment below what you think is your favorite video on the channel. 
and uh, I will pick one lucky winner for the Modern Rifle Pack DLC so that you guys can get a chance to use the 308 and all of the other ARs that come in that pack. But let's go ahead and claim this guy right here, 215. We somehow did not get vitals. Oh, that would explain why. This is the one that was running away. Uh, still a decent buck though, not bad. It's looking like this zone only has one level two. All of the other ones are level ones from what I can tell. So we just have one buck to take down from this area. However, I know for a fact there's some more zones over here that house whitetail as well. Uh, we've actually got a decent bit of them around here. We've got uh, one up here, one here, and then we got two of them down here as well as one here. So we're going to try and hit up all of those zones if we can before it hits 1230. As uh, that's when all of the zones will be empty of whitetail as it's the end of their drink time. So we're going to try our best to go check them. And then once we've checked them all, we'll come back and claim that guy. As uh, I want to make sure we're making the most of our time. And that actually looks like a decent buck right there. Hold on, that might be a diamond. Let's go uh, check that guy out. I don't know why he didn't render in before. It looks like he's just now showing up. Let's uh, get a good look at him. That looks like a pretty good one. You know, I wonder if this guy was actually hiding in the brush. It does look like a diamond. Yeah, that is totally a diamond whitetail. 251 minimum estimate. This guy's got a really good chance of making it. Let's uh, try to get him to stop real quickly. And then we can drop a shot right into his shoulder right here. Let's see. And there we go. That should be a diamond whitetail on the ground. I don't believe that that rat control. And if it can, it's not common. So well, this should be our very first diamond of the grind. There he is. This could be our very first diamond whitetail of the grind, and I think there's a pretty high chance that it will be. This is the exact same rack that is on my super rare albino, so I think this should end up making it. Let's go ahead and grab this guy and see. It is a diamond at 259.76 with our very first diamond of this grind. We're going to go ahead and tax him, though I imagine since we are doing herd management, eventually we're going to have to stop taxing them because we will probably begin to get more and more of these every single day, which is uh, typically how a herd management grind goes. You get more diamonds the longer you grind and well, this is going to be the first one of many, I think. But either way, that's still a really cool way to start things out. This is day two of me grinding. I did a bit of grinding last night when I was looking for all of these zones. As you guys probably noticed, since I've already got a bunch of zones found, I killed probably around 50 whitetail yesterday. And then today we've easily killed 20 or 30 during this video. So we're off to a good start, I'd say. But this is the best buck so far. And he really is a beauty. I absolutely love this rack. You know, leave it to Call of the Wild to completely change your plans last second. We were going to go check those zones before the time expired for this drink time, and, well, now there's no way that we make it because we've officially passed 12.30. All because that diamond showed up. But, I mean, I can't really complain. It's a great uh, way to have our plans uh, disrupted, but that is, uh, that is, that is a weird deer. Oh my gosh, the tip to tip on this thing is ridiculously close. It has a tip to tip spread of 4.05 inches. That is insane. That is absolutely insane. Man, we are already seeing a ton of big deer. We just saw that diamond and now we've got a couple decent sized uh, 85 to 100 level two bucks in here. Uh, one of them is hidden now. I don't actually know where he went, but we've got this one right here. We're gonna take him out first and then try to get that one as well. And also that one if we can. And just like that, we've got three of them as the other one runs away. So we at least got three of the four that were here. I'd say that's pretty decent. Whoa, wait a second. Where is this herd from? This is not a herd that I am familiar with as far as I can tell. We might need to follow this group. Because I need to know exactly where they are going. Let's place a waypoint there. Uh, we'll go claim these real quickly. And then we're going to head over there and kind of find out where these ones are going. Because as far as I know, that's not a herd that I am familiar with. So I'm going to assume they've got a zone somewhere down here in the south. Because I know Whitetail can be around here uh, on this current update. So we might have to check this area later. There is the second one. I don't think either of those were the big guy. In fact, I, I know they weren't the big guy. I'm curious where he ran. Looks like over here, as far as I can tell, it does appear to be a body. So let's go ahead and pick him up because he was definitely the most impressive. 237.27. Gosh, we are shooting high today. What is up with that? Our shots are just not hitting where we need them to. 
Well, unfortunately, I spooked them when I fast traveled, and now it, it seems like they're coming back this way. Maybe it is the herd from over here, and I just didn't recognize them because I hadn't seen all of the deer in it previously? I don't know. But it definitely seems like they're trying to get back over here. So I imagine it is one of the herds that I've already seen, but uh, I guess because I had shot a few out of it and now we got new respawns, I didn't recognize the bucks in it. But I mean, we might as well take down one of them if they're going to give us a shot. It definitely seems like they're coming this way. And that one buck back there is one that we need to take down, so let's get him. That should be the end of him. And there's even another one. If we could hit a shot, that would probably be very helpful. Well, he's going to go down now at least. There is that little level 2 right there. We got a good looking next shot. And this one, a not so good looking 3 hits with the 300 Magnum. So, a little bit sloppy after the first kill, but we got it down regardless. So that's the good thing at least. There is the second buck right there, 165.91. We missed every single shot with the 308 and then had three very poorly placed shots with the 300 Magnum, but at least it was enough to take him down. So before we end the video, there's one more thing that I'm going to go over, and that is the locations of all the zones that we have found so far. You guys may have noticed that every zone that we have been hunting today is on the left side of the map, and that's because that is primarily where all the whitetail are now. We've actually found a lot of zones, I haven't really hunted my map much at all since they reworked Leighton last, so the majority of drink zones you see on the screen are from Whitetail. We've got one, two, three, uh, four, and five, six, seven, eight, nine just in this bottom corner right here, as well as a 10th, 11th, 12th, 13th, 14th, 15th, 16th, 17th, 18, 19, 20. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, and 31 whitetail zones already just along this river and the lakes that are to the left of it. This is why I'm grinding Leighton Lakes and not any other map at the moment. These zones are so condensed compared to all of the other maps in the game that I just had to go with Leighton Lakes. Now, on average, most people have around like 45 to 55 whitetail zones on Leighton Lakes, at least from my memory, as far as I can remember. And we've already got ourselves over 30 of them just along the river and these lakes over here. We still haven't even checked the southern border as well as this little uh, three lake section here. And we haven't checked Balmont either, so... There's still a lot of possibilities for good zones over on this left half, and I'm very excited to find all of them. I think this is going to be a pretty fun grind. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, click that like button, and ring that notification bell so that you guys will never miss any of the future uploads. And I will see you all in the next one. Peace!